Ranking every item in Dead by Daylight from worst to best. I have some really controversial takes on this list. You guys will probably think I'm insane by the end of this video. The worst item in the game is going to the green map. This lasts for 20 seconds and can only track gens within 8 meters of you, which is obviously very bad. So you can use your add-on slots to increase the range so that it's not as pathetic as 8 meters, or you can use the add-ons to track other things, but then it's only in 8 meters, and if you're within 8 meters of something, you probably can see it because it's right in front of you. The second worst item in the game is going to the firecracker, flashbang, or party starters. These are basically single-use flashlights that can blind, stun, and deafen the killer. I just don't see why anyone would use this over a flashlight. They're much easier to use than flashlights, and you also don't lose as much distance. So for example, if you are flashing a killer while they're breaking a pallet, then you don't have to obviously stand there and hold your flashlight on the killer's face. You can just throw down a flashbang and leave. But again, these are only single-use. So once you use them, then you don't have it for the rest of the game. I think the best one would be flashbang because you can get it multiple times times in a match. So you can like bring a toolbox or something, use up the toolbox, then craft a flashbang after you're done with the toolbox. So you essentially have two items. The 17th spot is going to something that you guys are probably going to think I'm literally crazy for putting it here. And that is the Alex's toolbox, which is the purple sabotage toolbox. This gives you 50% faster sabotage speed with 24 charges. I'm putting this low because it's only good if you're with a survive with friends and you're having a sabotage build. In that situation, sure, it can be pretty good. But in most situations, this will just waste a little bit of the killer's time because they'll have to go to a farther hook. This can be really, really good on maps that have really bad hook spawns, such as preschool or the game. However, if you are using it with the Survive with Friends and with a Sabotage build, of course it's really good because it has 50% faster Sabotage speed with 24 charges, so you can put on add-ons that increase the Sabotage speed further, and you can get a really, really fast Sabo. But I personally don't think that Sabotaging is a very, very good thing. A lot of times they'll just drop the Survivor, and you'll basically set them up in a really good slugging situation. The 16th spot on this list is going to the yellow or event flashlights. These are some of the most overrated items in the game. Flashlights are not very good. You can use them for flashlight saves, yes, but the killer can literally just look at a wall, and then if they do that, you just wasted so much time following around the injured survivor and not doing your objective, and then the killer can also bait the flashlight save and down you, so then you just kind of ruin the game. Trust me, I know from experience because all I bring are flashlights, but these aren't a very good item. Like, they're not actually very helpful. Yes, you can blind the killer while they're vaulting a window or while they're stuck in any other animation, but even if you have iron will, they can still hear your footsteps, they can still hear your breathing. So sure, it's really good against inexperienced killers, but it's only 8 seconds of use, and it takes 2 seconds to actually blind the killer. So by default, you would only get 4 blinds, which isn't very good. But of course, you can use add-ons to make it better. The next spot is going to the worn out tools, which are the brown tools. This gives you 50% faster repair speed for 20 charges, which by default shaves off around 5 seconds from a gen. 5 seconds is not incredible, but it's still something that makes your gen speeds faster, which I guess could possibly like prevent a pop or prevent a surge from happening or something. Honestly, anything that makes your gen speeds go by faster is going to be relatively good, especially because you probably have a million brown toolboxes in your inventory. So there's no point in not bringing an item when you can just bring this. The next spot is going to the sport flashlight, which is the green one. This is basically just the yellow flashlight, but with 20% better accuracy and 11% reduction to battery consumption, which basically just means that it's going to last for a little over eight seconds. So it's pretty low just for the same reasons as the yellow flashlight, but it just has a little tiny buff. The 13th spot is going to the dull key, which is the purple key. The keys used to be the best item in the game because they could open hatch and hatch used to spawn literally in the middle of the game. Now the hatch only spawns when there's one survivor left. So if you think about it, the entire purpose of the dull key is to open the hatch. So you're only going to be able to use it if you're the only survivor left. And at that point, like it's just, it's just a waste of an item slot. So what I did in this list is I almost completely ignored the opening hatch mechanic because the hatch is so bad now anyway. But if you pair the keys with add-ons, you do get some pretty nice effects. Like one of the add-ons, you can literally see the killer through walls when you use it. It legitimately gives you wall hacks. So the dull key, I think, is the worst key now because it only lasts for five seconds, which means you'll need to put on add-ons to increase the charges, or it's going to basically do nothing for you all game. Next spot on the list, but you guys are going to hate me for this, but it's the broken key, which is the green key. Sure, this can't open hatch, but honestly, that doesn't even really matter anymore. The broken key lasts for 10 seconds, so it's basically just twice as good as the purple key if you're ignoring the hatch mechanic. The next spot is going to the utility flashlight. This is the purple flashlight, which is obviously the best flashlight. It has a 15% increased blindness duration, and it lasts for 12 seconds instead of 8 seconds, but it also has 20% worse accuracy. The accuracy barely affects it, like, at all, but the 15% blindness duration and being able to last super long, especially with add-ons, is a really, really nice feature. But again, flashlights are extremely overrated and will usually be a detriment to your team. The 10th spot is going to the rainbow map. This reveals exit gates, gens, hatch, and killer's belongings, like trapper or hag traps, when 
in eight meters and you can also use it for 20 seconds this is way better than the green map because it tracks all this you don't need add-ons to track these things so now you can use those add-ons to increase your range significantly like you can do double range add-ons or you can do one range add-on and add charges which honestly you don't really need with 20 seconds because you can literally just hold the map for like a split second just to see where you need to go and it will barely use any of its charges so if you use double range on this then you actually feel like you have an item that's helping you out because eight meters obviously is not very good but it is really nice to be able to track things like totems or and even gens from far away of course gens within eight meters you'll be able to see anyway but yeah i think the rainbow map is one of the most underrated items in the game and that is why i'm putting it so high on the list the ninth spot is going to the yellow toolbox this gives you 50 percent faster repair speed for 20 charges which by default shaves off around six seconds from a gen of course for any of the toolboxes you can basically double their charges with add-ons which can make these significantly better so if all four people have a yellow toolbox and they have the double charge add-ons it would shave 48 seconds off of a gen that is more than half of a generator for free like obviously that's an extreme example but the fact that you can do that with a yellow item is really really good okay the next spot is going to the camping med kit which is the brown med kit this gives you one full self heal and gives you a 25 percent faster heal speed to other people but you're usually just going to use this for one fast self-care being able to heal yourself with the normal speed and without having to have another survivor there is extremely good and can make or break a game and of course you can throw on add-ons which can increase your healing speed or increase your charges so that you can get more than one heal in which is so good it's so so good the seventh spot is going to the skeleton key which is the pink key again this can literally give you wall hacks on your teammates or the killer i think people really underrate the use of this key outside of hatch like now that hatch is so bad it isn't really meant for hatch but because this key has 30 seconds of use you can basically have wall hacks on the killer because if you literally just turn it on for a split second you're barely going to use any of its charges but you're still going to be able to see what you need to see and then of course you can use it for hatch but that doesn't really matter okay you're going to start to see a little bit of a pattern for these last six spots the sixth spot is going to the mechanics toolbox which is the green one with the little lines this gives you 75 percent faster repair speed with 16 charges which by default shaves off around seven seconds from a gen so technically it only shaves off one more second from a gen but it does do it faster so it's really good in three gen situations the fifth spot is going to the engineer's toolbox which is the purple toolbox and this is literally the same thing as the mechanics toolbox but instead of 75 percent repair speed it's a hundred percent faster repair speed so this will by default shape off around eight seconds from a gen which is just one second more than the green one the fourth best item in dead by daylight is going to the first aid slash event med kits which are all of the yellow med kits these have 32 charges and a 35 percent extra healing speed boost to other people but again in most situations you're just going to be healing yourself and it's literally just twice as good as the brown med kit because you have 32 charges which means you get two full heals with it and of course you can throw on add-ons to speed up things or to give you extra charges for another heal i don't think you guys realize how good med kits are especially in this healing meta that we have nowadays with the circle of healing stuff you can go to the circle of healing and heal yourself with a med kit so fast it is honestly so crazy the third best item in the game is going to the commodious toolbox or any of the event toolboxes these all give you 50 percent faster repair speed for 32 charges so yes it's slower than the other toolboxes but technically it speeds up your gen speeds by around 10 seconds and if you put on the add-ons that give you extra charges you have a lot of charges and by default this shaves off around 10 seconds from a gen so again let's go back to that extreme toolbox example where every single person has this toolbox by default they're shaving off an entire half of a generator just by bringing a green toolbox an entire half of a generator then you have every single person throw on charge add-ons which essentially doubles it the survivors will almost get an entire generator for completely free it'll shave off just a little under 80 seconds from a gen and it takes 80 seconds to finish a gen fully that is crazy that is absolutely insane how much you can save just by using a green toolbox but i don't think this is as good as the last two items on this list the second spot on this list which you guys are going to be so confused about you're like oh well med kits are the best item in the game right so the purple med kit is obviously going to be the best item in the game no that's where you're wrong i think the purple med kit is not the best item in the game the purple med kit has 32 charges which means you have two full heals with it and it gives you 50 percent extra speed to healing others and also increases your skill check success zones which can shave off like a second or two of healing so sure this can save you maybe four seconds of healing if you're healing other people with it but again you usually want to be healing yourself with these med kits so that buff doesn't really help you which is why i think the number one best med kit the number one best item in dead by daylight is going to the emergency med kit which is the green med kit this only has 16 charges so it only gives you one full heal but it has 50 percent extra self-healing speed which means it's buffing the one use that you want to be using this for which is self-healing so sure it only has one heal by default but again you can throw on add-ons such as the gel dressings to give you two heals and you can throw on let's say medical scissors to make that even faster again being
being able to self-care faster than it is to have another survivor healing you is mind-blowingly good. I don't think you guys realize how good this is. The green med kit is by far the best item in Dead by Daylight. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with this list down below.